The riders on the start line. Beautiful sunny day here at Brooklands near Weybridge in Surrey. This was the site of the historic Brooklands motor racing circuit and aerodrome. Opened in 1907, was also the venue for historic bike racing and in particular women's cycling. Ellen McDermott again, just putting in a little testing attack here. She really uh, ooh, goes down heavy on the caller, Ellen McDermott. She looked like she had this circuit nailed from the start. What a shame for the Irish rider. She banks it over and just loses it on that paint strip going into that corner. So very, very nasty accident there. And she sort of went down prone. So uh, it's going to take her a while to get back up if she can at all. Her bike looks to be pretty mashed. Into the home straight now. Roberts makes a move. Here go Tindley and Bennett as well. Roberts on your right, Tindley on your left. Bennett down the centre. It's going to be between Roberts and Tindley. But Roberts comes through to take the sprint. That leader's jersey looking nice and safe. Yeah, the Team Breeze rider there. Great sprint, opened it up nice and early. And look at this now, straight away, we've got Anna Henderson just coming to the front, keeping the pace up, keeping the pressure on. She's mastered these corners and she's taking lengths out of the riders in the corners every single time. So our two leaders, Anna Henderson and Lizzie Bennett, no threat to Jess Roberts' red iceberg leaders jersey. They're just going to roll through the sprint this time. No messing around. Got to keep that pace nice and high. Bigger fish to fry at the end. Tindley manages to sweep up one point. So Henderson on the front, Bennett locked in on the wheel. It's 150 meters from that point. Henderson now leading out. Bennett's leaving it late. Henderson gives a little glance. She's waiting for Bennett to make a move. Now they see the line ahead of them. Bennett battling to try and get up to her, but she's not going to make it. Anna Henderson finishes the Tour Series with another victory. Fantastic performance from the National Criterium champion, Lizzie Bennett, ride of the Tour Series. There's the sprint though. Bennett got close, but not close enough. Charmaine Porter now. It was Tindley and Backstead that were leading out, but Charmaine Porter is going to take the group sprint behind her. Teammate Emily Wadsworth is in there as well. So that's two in for Brother UK to Fossey. Wadsworth in there. Doherty on the back there for Team Breeze. So a second win for Anna Henson from Lizzie Bennett of Campanese Fellow Performance with the rest nearly 30 seconds further back. The brother UK to Fossey rider also won in Durham but missed the previous round because of exams. Jess Roberts of Team Breeze won the first three races and easily claimed the Iceberg Sprints prize overall. So having won on the night, the Brother UK to Fossey, presented by Onform team, confirmed their victory in the 2019 Oboe Energy Tour Series. In the end, the gap was two points from Team Breeze with a fantastic result for Campanese Vela performance in third. Here we go, series finale here in the historic Brooklands motor racing circuit. There's still part of the first ever purpose built motor racing circuit in the world here, but it's all about bike racing. And away we go. There's your series leaders in those Ovo Energy green jerseys. Canyon DHB, the defending champions. Now Lampierre goes in that iceberg jersey, just wants to take maximum points here and sew up the competition. And that's what he's going to do. So a dream tour series for the team from Cornwall. There you have it. Steve Lampierre takes that ahead of Tom Moses and Rory Townsend. Lampierre moving up now for the next sprint. As a glance across, Tom Moses on the left. But he's going to come through, takes another maximum five points in this one. So there you have it. Lampierre comes through, takes it from Peyton with Cheska up there in third place. Here comes Lampierre, though, up towards the front. He will want to take maximum points here this evening. He's uh, managed to make it into this front group, and he goes through and uh, takes another five points. There's your confirmation. So Lampierre from Peyton. Rory Townsend getting three. 
Rory Townsend on the front, Latham trying to find his way through. Is it going to be a dream finish for the local boy? Yes, it is. Rory Townsend takes the win. Chris Latham behind, Hennessy celebrating. And there is the sprint. Alex Payton crosses the line just behind Freddie Sheshka. But what can you say about that? What a great sprint there by the Canyon DHB riders. Over the line, arms in the air first team on the night and wrap up the series overall. So confirmation of the first win this year for Rory Townsend, just pipping Chris Latham and teammate Jacob Hennessy to the line. The Canyon DHB rider won the Iceberg Sprints jersey in 2016. This year, that jersey went to Steve Lampierre of the new St. Piran outfit from Cornwall. The defending champions made it two in a row, claiming the overall title here in Brooklyn. The win on the night meant the Canyon DHB ended up four points clear of Madison Genesis with Vetus Pro Cycling third in their first year.